Welcome to Algebra 1 release question 93. If you didn't watch number 92, that'd be a good one to watch for this one. I'm just going to show you one way to do this one. Um, but you can watch 92 to see a graphic way or to do this graphically. You can see a way how that works out in 92. 92, again, I showed you that here. But 93, which relation is a function? So uh, with, with a problem like this, I just want you to look for one where you have different or you have the same x values the same input values but then different output or y values so here these are all different input values so if you have all different input values all your output values it doesn't matter what they are so this one we have all the same or all different input values that means this has to be a function uh, there's nothing to make it not a function graphically if you draw it it will pass the vertical line test choice B we have the same two values here and here matching up with two different values here and here. The same thing happens here to here. So if you have the same input values, you cannot have them spitting out or outputting two different y values, two different output values. So is that a function? No. Down here, here I have the same two input values matching up with different output values, not a function because of that. And then down here, same input values, different output values. Same input values, different output values. Can't happen if you have a function. Choice D then not correct either. So number 93, choice A.